Well, when we first started, I wanted to build a, a unit that was all metal. So I decided to build an aluminum frame motor home with a steel undercarriage. I drew the first, and I looked it up, of course it was in 80, 81, that's when we built that, and it was like a 39 foot or something like it. It was a 39 foot bus. It didn't have pass through storage, but we called it the basement model. They did okay, you know, and we built, we built some of those. And later on, in 1982, we built a fuel pincher. In 93, we built a leg roll pusher. Our customers started calling it the, the leg roll bus. Uh, yeah. And so that's when we started, that's when we trademarked the a leg roll bus. We started building the bus on a regular basis in 95. Department of Transportation decided that the trailers could be 102 right. inches wide. That's right. We decided that a little bit after that we would come out with a wide body, and that was that was about 95. 96, 96. Yeah, 96. We came out with the first wide body. Venice was, was good back then. We built probably anywhere from eight to 12 motorhomes a day. We just kept moving, moving forward, making new innovations and everything about the electrical bus. What was the biggest innovation we made was the slide outs. Slide out, that's exactly and, uh, right. It, uh, that was the biggest innovation that the RV industry's had as far as motorizers, I'm concerned. And we decided about the first part of 06 that we would, we would start building our chassis. You know, we're, we're the only company now in the industry that builds their own chassis. We can control what we do with that chassis. You know, we can build that chassis to conform to, our, to the body that we build. Uh, we're a little bit more flexible as far as getting the, the chassis service. Between <clears throat> Red Bay and, and the paint shop here down at Belmont, uh, we've got about 1,600 employees and that don't count the service department. There's about 215 or 20 in, in our service department here in Red Bay. We put a lot of emphasis on service as far as, you know, the, the service center plus working with the dealers. You know, when you got a guy down, anywhere you can get him repaired is where it needs to be. It don't necessarily have to be drugged back. Yeah, that's the that's heart of, of any business is having repeat customers, retaining your owners, you know, that's it. Brings me back to a time that Bob don't even remember. He came into my office about the second or third week that I worked for him, and he said, Jack, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a good quality product, sell it at a competitive price, and then stand behind what we do, and that way our customers will keep coming back. Yeah, we've had a lot of customers that bought several motorhomes, yep. and, and not only that, we, we've sold several families multiple motorhomes. Mm -hmm. you know, we're into some of the guys now in the third generation. Mm -hmm. When you stay in business nearly 50 years, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs>